All right, guys, today, Wooly Bees, we're going to be talking about wax moth. What do they do? How to identify them? And let's see the carnage. First off, we're going to start off, there's one walking on the frame. What are they? Well, they're Mother Nature's cleanup crew. You have a hive that's going weak, a hive that has old, nasty comb. The bees leave the bees die out the wax moths come in they take over they eat up your comb and then bees can move back in and start all over especially in the feral population they fly in they're a moth basically they fly in they lay their eggs they hatch they end up becoming a lice larvae i.e what we have here in the Doug, the way you can really tell the difference between a wax moth and a small hive beetle larva is the gray. And obviously the small hive beetles do not get nowhere near as big as some of these larvae in this little container. But they start infesting your frames and then you will find your frames looking like this. All nasty, webbing everywhere. I could put this back in the hive once I run it through the freezer. Bees would clean it up, rebuild it, reuse what they could, but there's no need. It's too late in the season to even try that. So all I'm going to do is just pull all these webbings out that I can get out with my fingers. And then they will be going right over here in the solar wax melter. You can look up my videos and see how Wonderful this thing works Takes a little longer than everybody else, but hey, there's one pass through and you have beautiful yellow wax I'll link that video down in the description But once they get past this and you don't catch them, this is what you end up with there'll be a pile of black stuff laying in the bottom of your hive a lot of these little cocoons where they've hatched out of And then once they hatch, they become the moth again and decide to do it all over again. Good strong hive, you don't have to worry about these. People will say, well, my, I lost my hive to wax moth. No, you lost the hive to something else. There was something else in that hive that either A, caused your bees to abscond, which the trigger is not known for what triggers the bees to abscond. It may be a small patch the size of a silver dollar of small hive beetle larva, maybe two or three frames, maybe virus overload, bacteria overload. But there's something else that caused that hive to weaken to the point either A, it died off, or it left. Sometimes you'll find a small little cluster of bees up in the corner somewhere with a queen in the middle and there may be a couple of hundred bees and that's all and these wax moths are just laying waste. Obviously, I didn't get to these frames. They've been laying over here in the in the pile waiting to go in the wax melter. And they got a hold of them before I could get to them. But that's basically all for the wax moths. They just can decimate wax in no time. They can ruin your frames. These didn't get in, didn't get to spend enough time on the frames. I don't have really any bad damage to show you but they'll actually eat into the wood and they can really lay waste to your frames if they're left alone long enough the easiest way once you find them on there and your comb is is still good and you can still save it put it in the freezer for about three I usually do mine three to five days they say 24 hours I pulled them out after 24 hours and next thing you know I've got wax moss in my where I store them at. I store them in rubber made containers with the little ends, the little latch things taped closed so they can't lay eggs or get through that way. And that's not something that you like seeing in the spring when you're ready to split and you go pull a tote down and it's just completely eat up with wax moss. So now I've got to where I check them during the fall after I put them in there a couple of times during the winter. 
But that's it. Hit that subscribe button and that bell if you want to get notifications whenever I put out videos. Give you a little up close view of them. Man, can they move. Now, well, before they get out there and decide to become real live flyers again, I'm going to kill them. You guys have a great day. I know I am.